What do you mean our truth about Mosquito Short was really poorly received? I thought I had good information in it. What do you mean the bug in the short isn't a mosquito? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. What? It's called a mosquito hawk. Oh, do they call it that because it eats mosquitoes? It doesn't eat mosquitoes? Why do they call it that? Hey there kids, it's me, Safari Sam. And today, we got another fun fossil for all of you. It's a very cool one. It is a beautiful Shiva shell fossil from Joyner, as Trump would say. Uh, these are actually pretty common fossils. They do have a preservation bias because they are like a hard shell ish kind of substance and they're you know often shed in the water May. and you know I really love it it's just a great really the perfect example of the golden ratio in nature the Fibonacci sequence uh, just beautiful naturally occurring spirals all throughout this thing they're commonly used in things like jewelry and decorations because they're just so pretty like me now uh, according to crystallife.com, you know, uh, this shell actually comes from the Opaculum snail, which can be found off the coasts of places like India, Thailand, Australia, and Joyner, right? Uh, a lot of calcium carbonate in a lot of these shells, and they're actually pretty cool. Also, if you go to crystallife.com, uh, it's a bunch of healing crystal bullshit. A lot of people think this you put it on your third eye It'll make you psychic or some bullshit. It's not true. It won't work. I tried it and I'm still dumb as a goddamn rock Speaking of rocks uh, This fossil yes once they fossilize they are rocks. That's how it works uh, This was part of the snail's shell right and it's actually a cap that covers the end of the snail shale uh, so that predators can't reach up in there and get them. Which is very fun and very cool. I'm just, you know, very happy with this. It's a great starter fossil for... What the fuck just fell? Did you see that? Did something just fall off this fossil? Huh. Anyway, as I was saying, these fossils are great starter fossils uh, for people who are just getting into collecting. Uh, and, you know, they're really common, so they're an ethical fossil to collect. Uh, it's a very, very cool piece of our natural history, and I do recommend getting them. You know, as I said, these critters can be found off the coast of, like, Thailand, Joyner, etc. And they're very cool. And once again, a lot of people make jewelry out of them, or cut them into the shape of hearts, or use them to rip people off with their bullshit crystal websites. Anyway, that's it. Yeah, this was a short episode today. I didn't want to really do any work, so we just did a little common guy. Uh, hoop! Oh, fuck me and my goat ass. But that is it. Ugh, can't reach it. Thank you all <coughs> very much for your support. Oh, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. And if you want to buy some cool fossils, B3 has a physical store in Monticello, Georgia called the Three Profiteers. It's inside the shops of Monticello, right on the square. Why can't I reach this goddamn fossil? Oh. Anyway, it's a cool shop where you can buy lots of rocks, fossils, shells, etc. That's it. Thank you all once again. See you all next time. Bye for now. You know, Jerry, as much as I want to stop using these bullshit crystal healing websites as our sources, they are like the most common thing on the web right now. Also, I like using them because then I can talk about how bullshit the crystal healing part is. It's really a win-win for this little guy.